You didn't do it in a tablet right away. You did it in the phone. What was the, uh, I mean, did you consider doing a tablet when you did the iPhone, or, or was it just a natural progression? The iPhone came out, it was a big hit. I'll actually tell you kind of a secret. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually started on the tablet first. Really? And uh, I had this idea of being able to get rid of the keyboard, type on a multi-touch glass display. And I asked our folks, could we come up with a multi-touch display that I could, we could type on, I could rest my hands on and actually type on. And about six months later, they called me in and showed me this prototype display. And it was amazing. And I gave it to one of our guys. This was in the early 90s. I mean, early, uh, early 2000s. 2000, yeah. And uh, I gave it to one of our other really brilliant uh, UI folks. And he called me back a few weeks later, and he had inertial scrolling working and a few other things. Now, we were thinking about building a phone at that time. And when I saw the rubber band inertial scrolling and a few of the other things, I thought, oh, my God, we can build a phone out of this. And I put the tablet project on the shelf because the phone was more important. And we went and took the next several years and did the iPhone. So and then... And when we, got our, when we got our wind back and uh, thought we could take on something next, pulled the tablet off the shelf, took everything we learned from the phone, and went back to work on the tablet. So we're